talk you through locking down in standard canal lock. As you can see over there, you've got white markers either side. That marks where the lock sill is, the step at the back. Now obviously you have to be forward of that when you're going down the lock, otherwise the back end of the boat will catch on it. That can then tip the boat up, or damage the boat, and cause possible sinking. So always make sure you're forward of the marker sills. On the riverway, they're quite shallow. On some canal locks, they can go out three, four feet. Every lock's different, but every sill is marked. Just be aware. Okay, so we're just approaching a lock going uphill this time. Things to be aware of, obviously the centre line you've brought back from the last lock. Hopefully you've got it on the right side for the lock steps. All locks, most locks these days, will have a set of ladders in the side. If it's too high, easy to climb up using a ladder than it is to get onto the cabin top and then crawl off from there. Tie the boat off with a couple of loops around the bollard just to hold it in place. Shut the rear gates if they're open. And obviously have a look around to make sure there's no nothing floating in the lock, no logs and things like that. When you're going uphill, you've got to be aware of the boat drawing forwards onto the top lock gates. But it's good practice to hold it back with a rope, or if there's two of you, one person on the lock gates, one person holding the rope back on the stump. Lift the side up, the boat's on only. That way the swirl of water will force the boat into the side and stop it banging about too much. Once the turbulence slows down, you can then open the other side paddle up, which makes the lock feel a lot faster. The rules are quite simple. If it's a double lock like they are, like they are on the way and there's one going up and you're both narrow beam craft, then you share the lock together. And there's no rules about who does what. It's, shall I shut the bottom gates? Well, if you do that, I'll do the top. It's common courtesy. If you're going uphill and there's one coming down, and the lock's in your favour, then you go in the lock, you go up. If the lock's the other way around, then you wait at the bottom for him to go through. Common courtesy again is you tie up, you go up the lock and ask if you can offer to help the other boat through the lock. Some people will say, oh yes please, could you do that? Some people might say, no, I'd rather do it on my own.
just let the boat settle down on the stump. And this time, just tie it off so it can't drift away from me. Boat unattended. Engine off. Now I've got to walk down and set the lock up, ready for the boat to come in. Bottom gates are both open on this lock, so I need to go down and close the bottom gates before we can start filling the lock to get the boat in at the top. Both bottom gates are now closed, that now means the chamber is sealed up to the top and we start lifting the paddles to fill with water. Wind is on the spindle. Back off the spindle when you finish winding the panels up or down. That way it can't kick back. Just watching the water and the lock mouth, so you can see the ripples have slowed right down, which means the lock is nearly filled. The levels are then equal between the lock chamber and the river the other side, which is a good point then to start opening the gates. So I turn round. Always bum on the beam and walk it backwards. And the reason for that is if you do do it the other way around, this is for example, and you slip and go bang, not, not a good place to be. And actually you can get more purchase this way as well. So this gate is now open. Pick the windlass up. Walk back up to the lock gate. wind the paddle down and then we walk round to the other side and repeat. Apart from safety stuff around lock side, never ever run. Walk, always stay away from the edge. Take the windlass off the spindle as soon as you round the paddles up or down. 
when opening or closing gates, always push it with your back away from you. That way you can't slip and face palm the lock beam. And just be aware of things on the ground, like the bollard, the mooring bollards and stuff like that. Just be aware. <laughs>